Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to day five of GameSpot's Best of 2017 coverage. It is Friday, December 16th? 15th. 15th. My dad's birthday. Nice. Aww. Happy birthday, Bruce Brown. Yes. Uh, that's Peter Brown. I'm Mike Mahardy here with Kelly Plaggy. Hello. Jake Decker. How's it going? So Monday was Near Automata. That was number 10. Number nine, What Remains of Via the Finch, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. And today we are about to get into uh, a video that Jake cut for our number six game. Uh, really quick, just to reiterate, next week, because the weekend we'll be taking off from these streams. Starting Monday, we'll announce our number five game. Tuesday will be number four. And then Wednesday, December 20th at 10 a.m. Pacific, we'll have this mega stream where we go straight through three, two, one, and do the same thing. Discussions on them and then uh, like gameplay sessions with a live stream. But without further ado, here is number six on GameSpot's best of 2017 list. Strength to stand alone, Aloy is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. So there you have it, Horizon Zero Dawn from Guerrilla Games over in Amsterdam is our number six game of the year, one of the more fantastic open world games to come out uh, pretty much ever. This came out right in February, right before Breath of the Wild and the Switch hit, so uh, it was unfortunate competition, but it, uh, it does so many things well on its own, just like apart from other games in general that it was kind of hard to forget. Uh, Jake, you played Frozen Wilds recently. Uh, I want to talk about, because you played so much of that, I want to talk about the world and like what makes this world so memorable. It's such a cool setting, like what, post-post-apocalypse they were calling it? Yeah, it's, yeah, post-post-apocalypse, like the machines sort of have taken over and pushed the humans back, essentially, yeah. and they're fighting back. Yeah, it was like, uh, how many E3s ago, two or three, when they first showed this game off? And, two, or, yeah. And it was like Aloy crouching in tall weeds, and she was hunting... I forget yeah. what, and then she like she hacked a long neck, and then just like she, yeah, she like put a trip wire, tripped one, yeah. it fell over. She took a gun off of it, was using that. It's such a unique setting, I would say. It's uh, oh, I would, yeah. like I do want to talk about the story itself with Aloy. Uh, obviously, it's kind mm -hmm. of like two tiered almost. There's the tribal stuff that has arisen out of the post post apocalypse, but then there's also right. figuring out what led to all this. Because like I mean, it's it's not a spoiler. This is Earth, but right. it's, uh, yeah. they've talked about that, but. Uh, between the tribal stuff and the post-apocalypse stuff, Pete, you reviewed this game, liked it a lot, you gave it a 9 back in the day, yeah. uh, February, and you liked it a lot, but I want to talk about that kind of uh, dual setting, whether they work well together. Yeah, I mean, like, early on in the game, you, you are playing as Aloy, and obviously, and you, find, you stumble <laughs> into, you, you know, you sort of, like, fall into, like, down a hole into this space that's, like, very futuristic, and you uncover this little device uh, that gives her the ability to sort of, like, see... Be, like behind the curtains of reality in a way mm -hmm. or like communicate with with people that maybe the tribe isn't really aware of uh, It's like a really advanced Bluetooth a focus your piece a focus. Yeah is what it's called um, And that is you, the how you sort of gain this connection to the story behind everything else and it becomes very sci-fi along with this tribal thing and the the tribal stuff works in terms of establishing her character uh, it 
the game leans on it a lot, but when it's at its best is when it really leans into the sci-fi stuff because the world itself is so captivating and so mysterious in terms of like, well, how did the machines get to this point without anyone, you know, intervening behind the scenes and or was there someone intervening behind the scenes? And those those questions slowly grow more complex and the answers grow uh, more interesting. Um, it, re it really just builds and the world supports a lot of that. Kelly, you have a long history with shooters. Was it weird seeing Guerrilla Games, the creators of... Killzone 1 through 3 and uh, Shadowfall and the spinoff game going to this? Absolutely. I, To be honest, I wasn't expecting the combat to be so good. I mean, the, this is some of my favorite combat of the whole year. And I, I mean, Peter was talking about it earlier today about how, like, not having high hopes because you're kind of thinking, like, oh, Killzone, I've been a little disappointed by this. And then they just, like, totally changed tactics. And it really, really worked for them. And I think that, like, the... The futuristic technology, um, you know, that's probably the most like kill zone ish. Yeah. Thing. Everything else is like completely surprising combat, um, a surprising story, and I was so pleasantly surprised. So we're watching it right now. Tell me about the combat. What is it that makes it so fun and so challenging? Um, I really like that you're fighting these mechanical beasts, and each one is is uh, different and and. I hesitate to say unique, but um, there's different ways to approach all these different beasts. And like, I, I love in games the feeling of being overpowered because it's so much more satisfying to me to overcome that. Um, and that's uh, one of the most like the, one of the most satisfying things about about the game is is figuring out how to to take down a machine with a bow and arrow. Mm -hmm. um, and you can get really creative with it. And I just really enjoyed the the uh, flexibility and how I was constantly reevaluating my strategies yeah. as I went through the game. Yeah, Jake, we, like early in the game you can kind of, I mean I was talking about how I thought I could just spam tear arrows for a while, the ones that have that little mini like implosion, what? yeah, that pulls off the uh, armor of the, the armor or specific weapons of the robots, which are all kind of modeled after real dinosaurs or animals around, like they're crocodiles, the ice maws are pretty much crocodiles, alligators, mm -hmm. but later on you have to start like rearranging your tactics, right? You have to say, okay, I know this kind of animal is gonna attack me this with this element, so I'm gonna try to put this tripwire down that's its weakness and lure it in, and then when it's stunned, I'll hit it with a spear, and then I'll back out and then hit that bird with the terror arrow. Um, do you feel that like over the course of the game that combat became more and more nuanced as you fought new animals and went on through the world? Yeah, definitely. I mean, and it, it almost the beginnings, like, not that it starts out slow, but like you're very reliant on your bow, yeah. and that kind of seems like your main way. But as you get further along, you start you start juggling a bunch of different weapons to take down enemies, and it's it's pretty exhilarating, and especially like how well the controls are. Like it's easy to flip between them. It's easy to craft new uh, craft ammo. Yeah. Like it's it's just very fast paced. Like it's not like you're gonna rest at a campfire and like make some arrows. You're just going constantly. Yeah, crafting on the fly is another thing that makes it so like you said, exhilarating to, to be in these fights. It's a very intricate process that mm -hmm. the game does a really good job of, of like leading you into. Like it teaches you how to do these things one by one and it's surprising like how well it all fits together because on paper, a lot of complex things are happening mm -hmm. yeah. in a very short amount of time. Mm -hmm. And it's less like, it's less like, oh, I gotta level up, I gotta, I gotta become more powerful to take this thing down. It's more about, all right, well, what weapon do I need to take this down? Where should I shoot it? Uh, what kind of positioning should I have? Yeah, sometimes you don't even know where their weak points are. You have to take their armor off mm -hmm. to, to find those. And even that, like surviving while trying to do that, because you're not really damaging them just by taking their armor off mm -hmm. too much. This game, this game does get pretty tough later on, especially like in the latter stages of the story mm -hmm. when you're fighting some of like the T-Rex-ish. Yeah, oh, the invisible jaguars were the things that got oh, me. Yeah. Like, you're sort of walking through a forest, and you're like, did I just see the light shift a little bit? And then before you know it, there's like things flanking you on both sides that yeah. you see for half a second and it's just like oh shit <laughs> like how do I deal with that and then that goes back to the tactics you were mentioning of luring them into like trip wires and other booby traps what about that the, becomes really important sorry what about the technical achievements of this game you're all, you were talking about how like impressive it, it is and like how yeah. little credit they get for building certain things from the ground up uh, I, I think if you if you look at like what they've achieved with the, I'm staring at the screen because it's up there but if you look at what they've done with the world itself like it is very like realistic in a lot of ways, and you are given like incredible like 
uh, draw, uh, draw distances here to see this stuff. And even on a regular PlayStation 4, all of that looks fantastic. Like, I think it rivals some of the best games on PC that require, like, high-end graphics cards. And it seems to be that they just, they've really optimized their engine and pulled off some really great stuff. And that's, um, you know, The Frozen Wilds is not part of the reason why this game uh, is where it is on our top of the year list. But that, if you get to play that after the fact, you see even more technical achievements that are just... Pretty astounding. I mean, this is you know these consoles now are what almost five years old. Yeah. And they're still surprising us with stuff. The PS4 yeah. apparently this month just had its best month ever. Oh jeez. Somehow it, it it beat its wow. previous record from like two years ago or something. Dang. Um, but yeah, the, you, going from the desert to what is the city Meridian? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's in the desert, and then you go south of that. It's these lush jungles with the rivers flowing into Meridian, and then yeah. you men you mentioned like uh, when you're walking through the snow in the frozen wilds, it's oh. like up to your shins, and it actually feels like it's high snow yeah like as someone who grew up like with snow like you you're very familiar with what it is to like truck home from school like you know that day that it wasn't canceled and having to get through all that and it's really arduous and like you kind of you feel that and how guerrilla games pulled that off for the frozen wilds is it's pretty fascinating and it's interesting to see that they even put that work in because the main game has snow but it didn't have those features, and they just sort of went the extra mile. So okay. like, it's it's great to see that even throughout the year it was supported in such a great way. I really liked that, despite the fact that some of the things were just collectibles, they kind of, like a lot of them were like startup mugs, like uh, from yeah. from tech companies and stuff. I actually kind of liked that, because it's yeah, like the, the remnants of the past. Yeah. I really like the artifacts. Yeah. yeah, just reading like where the world came from. Yeah, like all these shitty startup yeah. names, and like yeah. that actually could exist. Yeah, and like weird, like yeah. not emails, but like kind of... Uh, just like you can read sort of like articles and stuff. I just yeah. find it really interesting. Or even like office politics. Yeah. When you yeah. Some of those. It's like, oh, can you believe like Joe was being such an ass today? <laughs> yeah. Did you guys find any of the Kojima stuff in the game? No. no. Really? There's yeah. Kojima stuff? There's a series, I think, of like 11 or 12, maybe less, but yeah, like multiple things uh, that seemingly have stemmed from the deal that Kojima struck with Guerrilla Games to use their engine for Death Stranding. Because oh. this game came out like a few months after the fact. And there are things that has their mascot on it, like for the icon. Oh yeah, oh, there was a, yes. I think there was a mug with the that right. Spartan thing, uh, Homo Ludens. 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 Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but like it's funny. Just like on so many levels, Horizon Zero Dawn is such an achievement for guerrilla games, and just for it, it almost like, you know, like Breath of the Wild. Obviously, it's easy to compare them because they came out so close, and they're both tough. some of the few open world games that came out this year compared to past years. But like, I think Horizon is the pinnacle of open world design as it's been building up over the past like six years. It definitely feels that way. Yeah. Yeah. I it's it's one of those games where like an open world you want to be able just to exist in it without having the objectives that are fed to you. And I feel like I can just go anywhere in this game and have a great time mm -hmm. and be impressed with it as well. Kelly, we were talking about Wolfenstein two yesterday and you saying you like Wolfenstein well a lot of people like Wolfenstein New Order and New Colossus because they kind of allow you to go take a stealthy approach or all out combat. Mm -hmm. uh, this game kind of Let's you be stealthy, obviously, with the spear yeah. sneak attacks. Did you try to do that as often as you could in this game, or I, more? I love stealth. Yeah, heck yeah I, I did a lot of stealth in this game, um, and I mean, there's. I love the skill tree. Like, I'm, I'm a sucker for a good skill tree, and I like that you can eventually unlock everything. But like, as you're, you know, discovering the world and uh, discovering the game and, and learning, uh, you know, you can start with maybe your comfort zone. So I did start with a lot of stealth, and then I kind of branched out and I figured out new ways to um, approach things that uh, that surprised me that I enjoyed so much because I am such a, a you know, prowler as the nice. Oh, so. <laughs> that's what that says, right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> prowler, brave, and forager. Yeah, um, yeah. I just I, I like the flexibility. The flexibility it affords. One of the coolest things about stealth is that you can override the machines, yeah. even like the giant ones. You sneak up behind it, you like stick your spear in it or whatever, yeah. and then you can just watch these huge battles play out between yeah. machines. You don't even need to do anything. You just sit back and watch, and it is it is really cool to see some <laughs> of those. A funny YouTube series where mm -hmm. someone did that. They were just putting really? animals and like commentating over it. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you need you do oh, the cauldrons, the right? Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> you do the cauldrons to unlock the ability to get right. like third tier animals. Yeah, and the cauldrons are, I mean, the world is beautiful outside, but the cauldrons are beautiful from like this alien technical mm -hmm. level. Like, mm -hmm. it, it, it's just, it, it's such a contrast to the world above. Um, oh, it, it was, once I, the first time I walked into one of those, it was just so oh, yeah. breathtaking. And that's the most impressive thing for this game for me is how fluidly it switches between like, 
hard sci-fi back to fantasy, back to just this open world kind of wilderness uh, adventure. But then it, you, it just doesn't stick to one constraint. It's not constrained by any of these. They just yeah. like complement each other in such a fantastic way. And it's almost like by the time you figure out the backstory and what happened to cause this apocalypse, like it actually, I feel like it earns its story, which a lot of open world games struggle to do. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to balance like side quests and the main narrative. I mean, like Fallout Three is one of my favorite games, but I still like I, I remember the side quests from it. But I, I remember the main narrative from Horizon Zero Dawn, and it's fantastically written, and I think it's paced very well when you're actually finding those things out. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much Horizon Zero Dawn, our number six game of 2017 from Guerrilla Games. So congratulations to the studio in Amsterdam, uh, winning a lot of awards deservedly, as we've been seeing. Uh, we have been announcing our top 10 games throughout this week, and like I said, we're taking this weekend off, but we will be back Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific to announce our number five game. We're getting into our top five, so Horizon Zero Dawn closed out the bottom five, which doesn't really, it's not a, a blow to it because it was a fantastic year to make our top 10 was just uh, an achievement in its own right. But please go get caught up on all of our other best of 2017 games. Uh, if you have time to play, like, What Remains of Edith Finch this weekend or finish up Horizon oh, yeah. or uh, play Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus, and uh, catch up before Monday when we announce our number five game. But if you're watching this live and not on YouTube or GameSpot, we are going to be playing Horizon Zero Dawn for about half an hour. Jake's going to take the controls right now if you want to. Uh, and we're going to play through some of it. Where in the story would this be? Or yeah. we're in the game, like how far? This is, this is post-game, or post- Oh, it's uh, like Frozen Wilds-ish? Yeah, I figure we'll just go around, uh, explore the world, fight some cool monsters, because that Sweet. is- I mean, you got a bird and a crocodile yeah. right there. Like small, what are the, what are the, because there's two different kinds of birds, right? There's the- Those are the scary birds. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Storm sun, birds. Storm, yeah. Storm birds are real scary. You see one, like, right when you start to, like, right when you get out of the first area, when you, you get into the one. desert, yeah. Yeah, it's like- that was yeah, that was a cool wake up call because yeah. I felt really confident up until that point. Uh, so these guys, yeah, I think they. Oh, this is just a regular snap maw. I don't think it's yeah. the elemental one. The elemental ones will have little canisters you can blow up that like freeze them. This is a really good way to. Oh, yeah, freeze sack. It's, it's underneath. Oh, it. it's underneath, right? It's gullet. A word I love. I it's it. a good word. Get nope, it into gullet. It. Nice, nicely done. Uh, and yeah, you also, you know, depending on how you break the stuff off of them, you get specific resources that are mm -hmm. harder to get if you just kill the animal outright. Um, and crafting is not just your ammunition, obviously, but like your various pouches to like carry more things. Uh, which I will say one of the one of the weaker aspects of this game that definitely needs improvement is the inventory management. Mm -hmm. It's uh, for the amount of items you collect and for the number of ways you can use them. It's actually uh, too cumbersome, I think. But a lot of games really struggle when they. They blow up like you know, all these different like categories and ways to get resources and things that certain resources apply to. Yeah, I was gonna say I, as much as I, I kind of joke around saying that I could spam terror arrows, which obviously later in the game is not true. But I do like that they require uh, oh, no. more resources and like oh uh, god, more right. rare resources to use them. I, yeah. They they know how valuable they are, yeah. especially. Oh, fuck. oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, that's This thing wasn't having it. <laughs> yeah, you can't use uh, shock stuff on the birds, can you? It doesn't really do anything to them. Isn't that like their strength? Oof. What I can do, though. I'm not positive. Off the top of my head. I also like the way you kind of like build up health reserves by gathering from the field. Yeah. yeah. That's really well, nice. I really it's, like that. It's so easy to get comfortable when you have swimming, all your health full and you upstream. get in a battle like this and you're like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna interrupt you. Jake's like, oh shit, I'm swimming. And then if you look, he's swimming against the current in place. <laughs> this is going well. Anyway. I haven't died yet. Health, health management is good. <laughs> I also love getting uh, one of the Shadow Karja bows, I think, that had uh, pretty good flame damage. It, well, mm -hmm. it's, it, you can use flame arrows with it. And then it had three slots, and I just put three legendary fireballs. Who is this? What is this joke? Yeah, sometimes you run into the gladiators. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, isn't this like one of the bounty hunter groups seeking you? Each or were they just here? No, I think you're in that weird territory. Or where, are you? where are you in the map? Like central? Uh, yeah. Do you have your like explosive slingshot? Uh, slingshot? I have one. It's not very good. God, that. One of the more useful abilities to unlock was the long dodge when you hold circle. Yeah. Because a lot of it, because the dodge wouldn't always work for a lot of the. 
Uh, some of the, the ones that are kind of like rams, they, they do one attack and they'll keep going. And if you don't dodge multiple times in a row, you just get screwed. All right, it's not doing anything. So far. You got to go for the, the canisters on its shoulder. <laughs> what arrow was that with the nuts and bolts around <gasps> it? Uh, it's Scrapper <laughs> Arrow. I don't remember what it does. What's it doing the Scrapper there? Arrow just gives you a higher oh chance of getting God, resources off the so enemy. Oh, my God, so much. I believe. I did not want to fight one of these things right away. <laughs> Jeez. That just took out an entire health bar. That yeah, definitely... run up off that... Uh, that now crop some slow mo bow on the shoulder. God. What game Yikes. showed that first? Was it Zelda or this, the slow mo bow? Uh, I want to say Zelda. Yeah. I could be wrong. But it's I a use great it so feature. Much more in this. It's a great yeah. feature. I don't, I don't use it enough in Zelda. This yeah, water same. is screwing me over here. <laughs> yeah. What are you? What are you what's with you oh, in this river? I, I can't not get out of it. It knocks me <laughs> into it. Yeah. I don't. It's not even your choice. You just. These things are super cool. Tripcasters? No, 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 that's uh, a... Yeah, yeah. Get down. <laughs> I turn off a lot of the HUD, so I don't know, like... Jesus. Oh my gosh. Get that shoulder canister. Yeah. Upgrading your focus is pretty helpful, too, to slow time down. Yeah. Oh, totally. That was the shit I do, like... Get a terror up there. This is a good illustration of what we were talking about. This, like, fucking, some of the fights are just like mini. Oh, majority yeah. of fights later on are just mini bosses. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. You, you come across like a river and you're like, oh, the river, river looks pretty nice. I could use a little drink in the water. Oh, shit. And there's like this huge this worm thing. that comes out of. <laughs> oh, yeah. those things are so cool. There's, yeah, those, those are my favorite. The, and the they first... like barf up like rocks at you yeah. and stuff. Yeah, so, like, I like oh. those boys. The first thing you do is in that, ki that ravine or the quarry or whatever, where everybody's like, yeah, we don't know if something ate our dudes. <laughs> Luckily, it's not doing a lot. But the, like, the, you're constantly like switching your approach and like switching which weapons you're using, and yeah. and you have to take a multi-pronged approach to this yeah. machine, which is really cool. The bird ain't going down. Yeah. Yeah, that bird is... There you go. There you ah! go. It's so also yeah. like, in addition to doing big chunk, bigger chunks of uh, damage to them, it, it takes away abilities to yeah, which do is certain cool, elemental attacks. Yeah, which is cool, because it definitely changes some of the tactics. Like, if I come into ice mo snap mods with the uh, elemental stuff, I'll just take the ice sacks out immediately so they can't spam They can't, like, those. yeah, freeze you, yeah. Oh my gosh. Hit it, there we go. Yeah, nice shot. And you get, like Peter was saying, you get, like, different um, resources, and, like, that is a factor, too, especially, like, because you're crafting, the th I mean, if you like have... Like, even merchants require stuff. Yeah, like, there's that element to the strategy as well, which I think is, is a more subtle thing, but really creative. Mm. It's yeah, like, there. whoa. There Ooh. we go, did something, finally. Correct me if I'm wrong, you can overload your bows, right? It's multiple arrows? Uh, certain bows, right? Oh, no, 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 yeah, you can. You press, uh... Yeah, there's an ability, right? You press yeah. triangle while you're aiming? I think it's R1. Oh, that's, sorry, that's stop focus. <laughs> oh, yeah, R1 sounds right. No, R1's not doing it. <laughs> you, may have to, you may have not unlocked that ability. I should. I should have had it. I should have it unlocked. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we all believe in you. There you go. We're in yeah. the noodle. Ooh. We're in this medulla. <laughs> It took me a second. I just watched Waterboy like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> just, there's something wrong with this bird's medulla oblongata. It's me, your daddy, Roberto. <laughs> no, you That's all I think of. No, you don't want to go into Sandoz. <laughs> all right. Now this guy. Back to this dude who started the whole thing, just watched you. <laughs> yeah. Why is he just chilling over here? There you go. Have fun with that. I didn't really. Oh, there you go. I was like, wait, what do you. <laughs> Have fun with that. And then he just. It didn't, it didn't hurt. <laughs> Got another one. We could. Do you want to sh uh, after this is over? You want to show off the frozen wilds, or you want to show? If you could get in a bear fight, that'd be fun. But the so bears are tough. The issue is for They're some bears reason. Frozen wilds. Bear robots, right? For some reason, the save uh, doesn't have my doesn't have my frozen wild save. So I'd have to like oh, go gotcha. through the whole intro. Nah, no worries. There's a pretty tough boss fight gating you, right, to make sure you're at the level to get. Yeah. It. Yeah. Do you uh, play frozen wilds much, Kelly? No. I didn't get a chance like to. it's yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I watched Pete and 
Jake and someone else in the office play. Yeah. You know, you should try to find those crabs. The crabs that have the the big like uh, shell that you can knock yeah. off and the that, shield that they can right they have the shield and if you knock the shell off it that like nuts. disables them but they can pick it back up and put it back on their body right there uh, oh you found it did you guys yeah. ever see that in a fight no yeah you literally can knock it off and they'll put it back on <laughs> and like it's, that. oh, it's oh that's so cool they were one of the hardest enemies when I first discovered them and you really have to study them to you know. The hardest enemy, I think, for me was definitely the ones that drill underground. But I like yeah. found them pretty early on, and I was like, I'm gonna kill these things. And I, could, I couldn't find one. It was always two at a time. Mm. But I'll definitely try to find one of those because those oh. guys are fun. And those beetles too, like the oversized beetles that mm -hmm. have those like bodies filled with like whatever liquid uh, yeah. they can spray on you at any moment. And that that creeps me. I don't like I don't like bugs that are the wrong size. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, not natural. Actually, I think the... Well, we'll fight these guys first, but I think right up there I can fight the the, the tunnel thingies. The, the, the tunnel snake? The tunnel, tunnel snake. <laughs> <rule. laughs> okay. Tunnel snakes rule. The UK team convinced me that they're... I hope they're not watching or not, because they're probably laughing. All right, pick it up. If you give him a second, he will. When I was in London, they told me there were... They found out I don't like snakes, and they found they told me there were tube oh, snakes. Right. That any time the... Oh, yeah. The underground stopped in the middle of the tunnels because they were running over snakes. Yeah. And, like, it was weird enough, and I, it was my first time in London that... I knew it was... I, I kind of <laughs> thought I knew it was a joke. We need to get this mother effing snake out of this mother effing tube. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Oh, hi there. Everyone's like, Americans, God. You know, in Australia, there's like the the thing they tell foreign or you know people from other countries about uh, drop bears. Oh yeah, what bears? Drop bears. They kill that... tourists. Yeah, so drop bears are these. They look like koalas, but they're far more vicious and violent, and they essentially will drop out of trees and maul you when you're not paying attention. Um, they're Listen, also completely made up. So. I believe that though, because <laughs> literally everything there will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but there, you see all these photos of like drop bears, and it's really just like a koala that had like fallen into some mud and then came out and like happened to get like in a territorial bout where he had to like look angry for a second. <laughs> drop bears. But yeah, it's, it's, it's like vicious, like toothy looking bastards, and you're like, oh my god, <laughs> like they're real. And then Australians laugh at you, like they do. I mean, oh, yeah, the I held a me. koala when I went to Australia, and they, it was not happy to see me. You held a koala? Did I held a like... koala. I did not like it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Stop Back going in, the water. in water. Yeah, you're, Stop you're, doing you're, that. That, you're just loving these rivers. I mean, where else are the crabs going to hang out, though? Let's be real. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you if where. we want. Oh my god. <laughs> the beach! You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what do you guys Get your minds out of the gutter. There are kids watching. I was going to just go back to oh Waterboy and say, oh, Water goodness. sucks. It really, really sucks. <laughs> Which is my theme song. Oh, it really, really sucks. Shoot that gun off his back. Use it against him. Yeah, I love picking up the weapons they drop because they're just oh my God. like these huge two-handed things. I don't use them enough at all. Oh, they're fun. Yeah, I rarely use them. Oh, like the ones that fire like just discs, just like red hot discs that just tear into enemies. Do, 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 like ratcheting oh. Oh. guns. Oh my gosh. Oh my, what is that? What? More oh my. crabs. I'm so stressed. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around though. Can't keep a crab down. <laughs> oh, I love that. The uh, physics of that, you, you shot the back latch off so it slid backwards. Yeah, turn around. <laughs> so if you lead it, if you, yeah, I think if you lure it back, it should pick it back up. No, fuck that. <laughs> fuck <it>. off. <laughs> Come back for you later, like right, <laughs> like right now. <laughs> I hope I'm not misremembering things. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting attacked by everything here. <laughs> so if I go up too far here, I think I get attacked by the. Do it. Go. Just go all out. All right. Well, you should really slow mo jump off and kill that the one shot that little guy. The crab just for fun. Well, you can probably kill. <laughs> no, no, no. There's like I one of the. Kill the crab now too. You could, yeah. Well, he's he's gone now. There was one of the like you know the two legged <laughs> small guys. <laughs> this is going great. This is far better than I would be doing if I played this game right now. I know. Same. If I had glasses. That, that's one thing. Like I played. Yeah, I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> I played a lot of the game back in like February, March, and then jumping into it like, two months ago. You have to really 
re-acclimate yourself. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, there's so much to learn. There's so much going on. Yeah, and I hate to say it again, but I think we all just played so much of Breath of the Wild after yeah. this, and there are just enough similarities that your brain's like kind of immediately links. Yeah. Although I, yeah. I will say they're less comparable yeah. than. Oh yeah. Than they're, they're very uncomparable, but yeah. it's just it's. But you have that like sensibility that. Yeah, you know, that like, muscle memory that's hard to yeah. shake. I think. I'll knock, so the, I'll say this knock game. the belly off those grazers. Well, that's fun. I'm gonna uh, see if I can override one. Cause this game is so pretty. Yeah. yeah. Doom moving hurts. Oh god, don't turn around. Jake. Great <laughs> Jake. Oh, my god. oh, picking up a root. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna are you gonna eat this? <laughs> you gonna finish that? Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, I, haven't I think died there's some yet. water back the other way. I haven't died That's yet. True. Taking <laughs> down water. I'm, I'm very impressed by <laughs> how you have not died. I saw a river like two clicks back. <laughs> Gosh. Just the fact that you can possibly kill these things is amazing to me. Right. Like that you're given the tools to do that. As a lone individual. And, <laughs> yeah, as just a girl with a bow and arrow and a spear. This game becomes like a boss rush. Is it four different kinds of... Yeah, kill it, kill it. No, we're overriding it. Oh. Your soul is mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still I think it can't keep a crab down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are you just came out from this side of him? <laughs> Buddy is dead. It's like that scene from uh, Ace Ventura 2. Oh, there we go. Oh, you can only do one at now a time, Now we're right? cooking with gas. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Mickey Mars. Keep Nick down. <laughs> All right. Can I ride this thing? Nah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can only override and have them fight alongside you. you. Other ones you can ride. Stomach point blank. Can I ride? <laughs> well, it's because it's my buddy now. Room for I one more. This thing? <laughs> I really like the jungles south of Meridian. You want to go there? Yeah. Yeah, the. The the shady like green stuff. Yeah. Is it shitty? <laughs> shady. Oh. <laughs> it's really good, He's but like a, especially like at, at uh, dawn or dusk, like when the sun is like you know sort of just coming over the horizon or the opposite direction. Oh, you said like, dawn and horizon in that <laughs> sentence somehow. Which camera am I looking at? <laughs> All of them. Because I was gonna say, wow, that was a good pun with dawn, and then uh, we're gonna go to one of those beetle thingies. Yeah. I don't Get some. recall what you're talking about. <laughs> the beetles with the, the juice. Yeah. They have the big kegs of <laughs> beer. acidic beer in their backs. <laughs> acidic beer. They're, um, I think the first ones you meet, they have ice. Called blowback, I think, is what I saw. When Blowbacks? I was... <laughs> Can't remember. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. There we go. Things are driving up a storm. Um... And I think it's 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 fair to talk about the fact that the ending pretty much hints that there's more of this coming down the line, mm -hmm. yeah. and I think Sony would be stupid to ignore yeah. <laughs> the success. Yeah. How of this do they, game what do they even do after this? Like, go somewhere else? Skateboarding, <laughs> uh, <laughs> time travel. <laughs> Back to the future. I like basically. skateboarding. I like yeah. skateboarding. Horizon He's gonna be good. The, the Marty the McFly. Nice. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Horizon Absolute Zero. <laughs> Where are they? Are they over here? Someone's some vertical some horizon. Fighting he's them. everything you need. <laughs> Remember that song? No. Oh, oh yeah. yes, 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 yes. Just throwing a little fit over oh, here. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Now. yeah he's just having a tough time. Oh, he's killing Lost my keys, things. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I was we're over all, here talking to Bill. And we're then... all way too tired for this. <laughs> God. Oh, no, I'm great. I'm feeling I'm at the top of my game right now. I don't think there's anything for it to fight, so I'm just going to kill this poor creature now. <laughs> Call it a poor creature. Now I'm sad. Is it no, it's weird? Hard point, right? Because I gotta bust that. Not... Yes. Is it oh, weird that playing this game, watching it, gets me even more excited for Shadow of the Colossus remake? I no, mean, that's not entirely weird. Yeah. I think I've said weird. weirder. Weird. <laughs> yes, you have. But like, get just in the sense that like all these fights are 
they're not just like look because you do fight humans in this game. Uh, yeah. Not to the game's detriment. I do. I know a lot of people. It's not the the high point, but I do think it's a nice change of pace when you could just shoot something in the face and it dies. Yeah, like the base infiltration <laughs> stuff is weird. I'm sorry, it's not um, about that much. It's not always totally necessary. <laughs> yeah. But you do get the option to do that. They're short lived. Um, they do. They they do get pretty difficult where you can't just sort of barrel in. Yeah. But like it's it's. Uh, but yeah, I know what you mean, right? <laughs> in terms of like Shadow Colossus, it's not just like hordes of enemies between you and the next boss. You're just yeah. pretty much fighting mini bosses the whole way. Oh, here they are. It's these guys. Do that. The Rock Breakers? Yeah. yeah. Kind of want to see a T-Rex as well if we have time. We will do the... I'll take care of these these guys and I'll do a T-Rex. So tight. Could you just do the... Is it a T-Rex you fight to get into Frozen Wilds or no? No. No. I think there is a, one near it though. I think I it's think. one of the bears that you fight, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. It's one of those... Uh, like Jaguar thing. Oh. Uh, yeah, the bears are a um, little bit later. Dude, they're tough. They're really, really tough. Cause they're, I love sliding under their legs. That's I know. so cool. So they're really resistant to tear arrows. So you, you, re you really can't rely too much on those to just sort of like whittle them down and break yeah, off their stuff. I thought you said terrier <laughs> arrows. It's just <laughs> terriers on the end and you're just launching them Aww. at them. <laughs> oh, no, that'd be. <laughs> <laughs> I have a scar on my arm. From a terrier biting me. You can only Damn. see it, Mike. Yeah. A terrier oh. was being chased by another dog. I picked up the terrier. The other dog came at me, and instead of biting the dog that was chasing it, the terrier <laughs> bit me, who was trying to save it instead. We're playing <laughs> tag, you idiot. <laughs> My dog is a terrier. Mm. They're useful ammunition. No, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check out some of the uh, other armor, because I feel yeah, like yeah, this yeah. armor sucks. Thanks. Though. No, just like show, show the Shadow Karja stuff, like the like the really dope. Yeah. Oh, you don't. Have, there you go. What are you the, I thought you had that. Shadow, shadow oh, stalwart heavy. Yeah. That's pretty. That's not the one you get from the. No. Wait, did I, I what is that called? Um, I forget. Or how do you even get it? Don't, oh, you have to get those. Uh, there are it's, there are collectibles hidden in in far reaches of the world. Some you find. During the story? Naturally. Yeah, other ones you really have to go out of your way to find. Uh, oh my god. The armor doesn't work out quite the way you expect based on... Because the whole game you can see it behind glass. Mm -hmm. But when you get it, it doesn't actually look on you the way it does behind glass. Right. Doesn't it not show up on her head? Or it doesn't not? really show up on much of her body. What you get rather than the big suit is you get this sort of like... Uh, uh, like fluorescent, like transparent armor that like glistens around you. I think it was played a bit during the montage. <laughs> if you shoot off all its like paws, it just can't dig and it just <laughs> lays there. <laughs> oh damn! Oh my god, it's like a giant <laughs> seal. Yeah, just like, flopping around the beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some acid beer too. Yeah. <laughs> well, they all do. Beer. Yeah. Oh gosh. They're like the. Uh, I hate comes to. Up of, I'm so hungover. He breathes <laughs> like, <a, laughs> like a whale. Yeah. Yeah. I hate to make another Breath of the Wild comparison, but it's like those. Uh, what, what are those things called? The uh oh. In the oh, desert. Mul Mulduga. Mulduga. Uh, yeah. You gotta pronounce it with an Australian accent. Mulduga. <laughs> Oi. Oh, they just keep popping their head up. The in The voice in bones. It's not a Mulduga. <laughs> this is a Mulduga. Well, Australian like, where's the car? New Zealanders, we're like, where's the car? <laughs> I know Edmund Tran is head in his hand, just shaking it. Yeah. Right <laughs> wow, that took out so much health. Rock breaker booty shaker. <laughs> <laughs> we take our job seriously. We're... <laughs> We're all gonna get fired after this. <laughs> the, uh. What does that remind me of? The. It's like Maw. The the Rockbreaker's mouth. It's almost like a predator, but with it's saw It's like a. Yeah, it's, um. Oh, no, I know what you're talking about. Or what's. Well, I mean, it's from Zelda as well. Is it? Vavruta, the divine beast. The chameleon's face opens up. Hmm. But I'm thinking of it. Start spreading rocks or like an elite from Halo. Oh, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there I went. It's gonna be frozen oh. wild stuff. 
All right, let's go see a T-Rex. You know what's weird is every time you go kill, take out a bandit camp, what's that character that helps you? The... Uh, which yeah. one? The creepy one that's always there and saying, like, uh, killing bandits makes me so... Oh, right. <laughs> your, 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 your portly, chummy friend. Uh, uh, he's an Osram, right? He looks like an Osram, I think. I can't remember his name. He's always just hanging just around call him there. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. T-Rex? Yeah. yeah. I think there's one. Uh, I would look for the one in, like, the grassy valley. So I just fought the one in the desert, so I'm comfortable fighting that one. <laughs> but it's, but it's but the desert. <laughs> this is it, right? The less Thunder water draw. possible. <laughs> yeah, the thunder jaws. His cursor for. just gravitating toward the rivers. <laughs> I need to get the... Templars, trampler. What was that called? Uh, what? Yeah, trampler. Yeah, that makes more sense. Not oh, I think if you go Templars, up, Templars, up, 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 up. Ubisoft, get the, get out of here. I was gonna say fight one in snow, but oh whatever, just pick whatever one you find first. Uh, well, it was this one then. Sure. I lost it right there. Yeah. Problem is, Snowy? is there's no fast travel location nearby. Well, uh, yeah, that's true, but <laughs> you could, you don't have a, like the summon a mount ability. I do. Yeah. 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 Just All right. go nearby and summon a mount. Hightail it out of there. The uh, I, there was like a gif going around a couple weeks ago of how cool or the cool way that this game handles aiming at 360 degrees while riding a mount. Oh, yeah. It, like, naturally, like, shifts her legs, like, over the, the hump of the animal and then, like, its other back, you know, like, as she's, like, spinning around. Like, it's pretty... It's next level It's stuff. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it hasn't made sense. Rather her just turning 360 degrees at her, at her waist. Have you played PUBG? Have you seen <laughs> the, the animations of people hanging out windows? <laughs> Doing, like, yeah, oblique exercises? Yeah, you gotta have, exercises? like, the craziest muscles, yeah. Their cores are just, like, concrete. <laughs> but yeah, it's impressive in this game. <laughs> You've made my naughty list. Should we add his name? I think there? we should. Yeah. I like how everyone looked at that right away. I forgot that was there. But technically I wrote that, so that is my naughty list. <laughs> Shit. Luke Cray, Mass Effect Andromeda Face, just switch voice chat. R.I.P. Vita. Is that really, like, Nani? Just die. I don't know. These, I didn't <laughs> come up with this again. list. I think it was Rob's jokes. Loot Crates was... I don't know. Okay, so this mm. T-Rex. Do you... Yeah, he's got it. Normally, you probably take the time to stock, stock up on up. health. Yeah, I've got no health, so... <laughs> well, at least no reserve health, I guess, is what I should... Can you do the animation quick? I yeah. don't know that I've seen it. Ah, ooh, that is pretty dope. As he takes off and you fall off. <laughs> why are you wearing that armor again? Yeah, why am I wearing this armor again? Why are you? Did you die? Isn't that why? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody would jump. I guess not. I don't really use mounts that. in this game that often. Well, I, I also don't think I got the summon mount ability. That definitely makes it a more useful. Yeah, yeah. I didn't use it too much thing. until I got summon mounts because it was like travel to an area that had um hack it and hop on the game just feels so good when she's running around I'm like yeah that's one thing i'll say mm -hmm. i think it's so it has over breath of the wild it's but i'm i'm more comfortable fast traveling in breath of the wild in this game i feel like i actually want to experience the change because the environments they change more frequently yeah. in a lot of than compared to a lot of other open world mm -hmm. games and to see those transitions this thing is just over there out. knocking down trees yeah. <laughs> And you so are you, the, apparently. The, the wind farm in the background, yeah. like, you know, evidence of the past. He's cool with those, though. In the wind. So, yeah, yeah you definitely want to knock off his guns yeah. and use those against him. Oh, Oops. my God. Uh, let's get off this thing, huh? Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's going great so far. So, yeah, he's got the two guns on the side. Nice, good job. Uh, and then he's got the... The, like satellite launcher. He's got, he's got one on each cheek, doesn't he? As oh well? yeah, it's on his cheek. Sorry, yeah, he's got the guns on his cheek that you can use, and he's got that satellite launcher on the top of his back. Drone. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, either one. I don't know why I'm saying satellite launcher. It doesn't make sense. The water rolling.
Some trip wires in his life. Alright, I think you should be able to go get that one. I'm not going near him yet. What was that? He's just blinding you. Oh. What is behind? Oh my god. A so watcher. One, one shot <laughs> that dude. Nope, didn't. Oh my, oh my gosh. Stank. Oh, he's still alive. Now nah, whatever. Oh, he's in the crevice? Oh, he's a red eye watcher, that's why. God damn it. He's in the crevice. <laughs> oh, here we go. Like 12 people got that. Only the sunniest of people. Is that the disc launch thing yeah. you're talking about? It does remind me of Ratchet and Clank gun, but cooler. If we had a better audio setup, you could hear the sound effect that comes with it a little bit better. Is it a saw blade going through it or something? Uh, I guess, you, I guess it could be a saw. Kill this fucker and then call it a stream. <laughs> Might be here a while. Or yeah, we'll one of us dies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cage matches work. If they didn't work, everybody would still be in the cage. <laughs> see, I should be shooting a heart right now. So I can see it. Is but. that you can see the heart on its like? Yeah, it's kind of like on its neck, uh, but you can only see it from the side, and it has this little chip thing on its head. It's super satisfying to like leap off things and oh god. Yes. Prove it. Well, I don't know what I can leap off of. I guess I can run up this hill a little bit. Oh god. Disgusting! That red thing. Yeah, there we go. You try to summon a mount right now? Like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot its booty canisters. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> it's rump bumps. It's yeah. rump bumps. There, got one off. <laughs> Just for you, Mike. Thanks. It's turd silos. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <sighs> yeah. Oh, there goes. Yeah, it's Zeus. <laughs> Hold him out. Help me out here. God, this. Did you double tap it trying to eat health? This fucker's still. Sorry, this guy's still just hanging around. I don't know why. I'm, I'm getting so amped up watching this fight. Don't you, don't you do it, Jake. <laughs> Stay away from that river. <laughs> Follow your heart. <laughs> right into the river. Jake gets mugged in San Francisco, just dives into the ocean. That's his instinct. <laughs> Oh, you got this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Uh. Oh, go on. Ah! <laughs> don't try to melee it to death. What? Oh, I no, think there's the, the critical hit. Yeah. Oh. But I didn't. I don't know where it is on the screen. Very thing. far. <laughs> oh man. Well. Damn. A death well deserved. Yeah. You almost <laughs> had it. All right. Sweet. Thanks, Jake. All right, and everybody, if you're watching this live, thank you so much for joining again. Go catch up on all our Game of the Year stuff so far. Our best of 2017. I'll get in trouble if I say Game of the Year, I guess. I'm just kidding. Tay's back there shaking his head. Uh, but no, thank you so much for joining. Uh, we're f taking the weekend off. Like I said, go catch up on some of these games. If you haven't finished Wolfenstein 2 or this or Near Automata. If you haven't played What Remains of the Finch, you can, you can take like two hours to play it. Do that. Um, Hellblade, same thing, six hours or so, maybe a little more. You can play that this weekend if you haven't played it yet. And then, come Monday, we'll announce our number five game. We're getting into the really, really good ones. Uh, <laughs> not to say anything bad about the last five we've announced, because this game was this year was fantastic for releases, and uh, anything on top ten list is quite an achievement. But thank you so much for joining, and uh, like I said, 10 a.m. Pacific on Monday. We'll be back with our number five game. Thanks, and we'll see you then.